I guess it's gonna be quiet. What's up? How you do? If you're wondering why I have gloves on, it's quarantine time. I'm actually not technically quarantined because I'm still working, so. <laughs> but I'm essential. So, I gotta keep working. And if you're also wondering why I look depressed as shit, it's because I'm having a flare-up and my body hurts like crazy. And I just feel like I wanna cut my hair and I know that I'm trying to grow my hair out, so instead of cutting it, I'm going to dye it to kind of maybe if it looks better in my head. I don't know. I know it doesn't look bad at all, but it's like getting long. It's not as curly as it usually is when it's shorter. It's way curlier, so it's getting long. I have... 20 volume. I know this is just like a cheapo beepo, but it works. I've used it a lot, so. I don't use it that often, but anytime like my hair gets blonder, if I feel like I wanna dye it pink, I use this. Probably don't need to shake it, but it, I haven't used it in a while. I also got this um, bigger one, but I wanted to use this one until I run out before I get into that one. I also have a coffee mask, so when I'm done putting the stuff in my hair, I'm just gonna relax with that. And I got a big bowl. Uh, the comb and this. And then this is the hair color I'm using. <laughs> all the all the YouTubers do this. <laughs> hey, it works. <laughs> Ion permanent brights. I like to use the permanent ones because <clears throat> it lasts longer for me. Um, the uh, semi permanents usually fade a lot quicker, and I don't need it to do that. I want my hair to stay pink forever. So, but I've used this color before. It's garnet. Um, it actually is more purpley. In the, in the box, it kind of shows like a pinkish, reddish color, but it's actually more purple. Um, but as it fades, it looks more rose. So right now, my hair kind of looks pink already, but it's more of a... It's kind of blonde, and then it's like darker, and that's my natural hair color. But because this hair color is like kind of a darker purple, it's like a violet, it's like reddish purple. It kind of mixes with the darkness of the roots and so it kind of fades in pretty good most of the time. So you can kind of tell it's like darker and then it's lighter. I didn't do anything special. I literally, at the time when I first bleached it, <laughs> Um, the first time I bleached it, I did the um, ends first, and I know you're supposed to do the roots or whatever, but I didn't want to bleach my roots barely at all, because I wanted it to do this fade in thing, and I did this a long time ago. I haven't had to bleach it, because the color that I want, which is more peachy pink, just a little bit darker than it is now. So anytime it gets too yellow or um, it's maybe too brown, because you can see how it's like darker underneath. When it gets too dark, like down to here, then I um, do a bleach wash. Sorry, I'm just, my eyes, my hair is tickling my eye. These are clean, so. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you how I do my hair, how I normally do it. So I'm just going to like spread it out. 
pulling it down the middle. And I'm not going to use the camera the whole time. I'm just kind of checking it out. I shouldn't have done bangs, but I'm stupid. And it was, I was having paranoia. And I quarantine cut my bangs. And it's like, everybody's been doing it, apparently. Not that it looks bad. I don't look bad at all, but I regret it. I just, it just, it's not my style. I don't usually, if I do bangs, they usually go on the side. Then it, it like blends in, but I done fucked up, so. Okay, so. If you're trying to find a tutorial on how to do hair, don't follow me because I've been doing this my way for a long time. This comes better. So, my hair is really thin, as you can probably tell. When it when I cut it, it feels thicker, but it's really thin. It's always been thin. So, it doesn't take a lot to dye my hair. I'm probably not even going to use this whole bottle. I'm going to probably use like that much. Maybe half. Half a bottle. Maybe less. So. I'll show you the bowl when I get it in here. I really wanted my music to play, but for some reason I can't use my... music while I'm videotaping, so it's just awkwardly quiet. Alrighty. Should have clipped it like that pulled it over. And this stuff, if you use it, it smells like kind of bleachish. It's a very strong smell. And it will probably burn your eyes. It's burning mine. But that's how you know it's working. <laughs> okay. So I just use like that much. And then I got my 20 volume. And I just do a little bit and then I mix it. And you want it like a lotion y texture. And if you want, you can add like conditioner in it or whatever you want, but it'll be darker, I think, if you don't. You're not supposed to wash your hair before you do it, but I washed my hair this morning. So, I mean. You can kind of see by the drop the, te the te consistency. It's very thick. It's a thick boy. So I'm gonna start. Now I don't usually um, use this. I just have it to mix. What I usually do, I do the roots. To make it kind of even. In the beginning and then <laughs> caution to the wind. Um, so I kind of start with a plan and then I just fucking throw the plan out the window. That's my, that's how I do it. <laughs> so don't copy me. When I do other people's hair, I like, I section, I do everything how you're supposed to. But when I do my own, I'm just like, that's just gonna go in my head. 
Okay, so now it's time to throw caution to the wind. So I just kind of put it on because this is how I usually have my hair. I just wanted that to be good. So I just grab a big glob and I just start putting it on like a, like a lotion. And if I need more, then I make more. But this should be enough. Oh, it burns. Whew. It's very, very strong smell. And I have a towel on the counter, so if you try to copy me, make sure you have a towel on the counter because you will drop. And then I get the back. <laughs> Okay, now before you see what I'm doing and be like, what the fuck is she doing? <laughs> Just watch. So, I run hands. I probably need a little more. So, I put it in like a lotion. And then I comb it. because that kind of spreads it more throughout the hair. And I feel like it's not wet enough, so I might need more. I wonder if my boyfriend's gonna come in here and check on me. Cause he could probably tell I'm going a little stir crazy. So then it kind of built up and I just rub it back on. That's how I do my hair. <laughs> and you kind of see it already turning pink. I'm probably going to need more just because I feel my roots are still kind of dry underneath. And you want that bitch wet. You want that bitch wet. Alright. So attractive. <laughs> I literally don't care. <laughs> Bubble shit and all. Okay, I'm gonna make some more. If I actually use all this, I'd be surprised. Oh shit. I might actually use it all. Bitches. <laughs> so you know it's working. Okay, I probably made way too much, but whatever. Just you want that bitch wet. Because we want every part of your hair. To turn pink, even the brown parts. Oh, underneath. And I found that as long as you kind of combed it in a good direction, it most of the time looks pretty even. I haven't really had it not look even, but my hair is really thin, so if you have thick hair, it will not come out looking even at all. I've done thick hair before, like my sisters and friends, and you have to section them bitches off, and you gotta take your time. But with my thin bald, almost bald-headed ass. This shit works just as well. 
and it fills up quicker. And I'm, make, I'm just making sure to kind of rub it in so that it gets all in the fiber. So you can see it's already, it's already dirty pink. All right, so I'm just getting it in. I know it's not shampoo, but I just want to make sure this bitch is wet. And I have one to give. Ew. Like Carl's Baskin's husband in the in the uh, septic tank. He is probably wet forever. So now I'm just getting the edges. I mean, it's not necessary because I'm, I mean, I just don't have to be pink, but we want this bitch wet. See, this is just me attempting to be quirky. I'm not that quirky. I mean, I'm, I'm I feel like I'm quirky in real life, but not, not online. I'm more of a cynic. Online, and they just I'm surrounded by people that don't share my ideals and don't care about things I care about, and it just makes me not give a shit. Because it's like, well, if these people won't give a shit about things I care about, why should I give a shit about them? And that just sounds very selfish and whatever, so. I'm gonna wash my gloves because I'm gonna reuse these eventually. Now, I'm a CNA. Well, oh, that was the ugliest face I've ever made. I'm a CNA. And, um, I'm only allowed to have red hair. Like, that's the craziest hair color you're allowed to have. But, your girl's a rebel, and I have gotten away with pink because it's a shade of red. So, <laughs> that's why I do pink hair. And, I've pretty much always done pink hair. If you've been seeing my videos, or you know me in real life, your girl always has pink hair, it's my thing. So now I'm just combing it and like tearing my hair out, but this is disgusting. I put the gunk back in my hair once I comb it to kind of and I always make sure that the top kind of looks show you. I make kind of like lines. Let me just get it parted. This is probably really bad for my hair, but I don't give up. Overall, my hair is pretty healthy, so I can kind of abuse it when I have episodes of mania. That's what borderline personality looks like, mixed with various health problems that I don't go to a doctor for, because I'm broke, and I don't have health insurance anymore. God, my hair is much longer, so this is way harder to do. Okay, this is super bad for my hair. Okay, I'm just gonna get the rest of this goo and just put it on there. Alright. And then I put it in a bun by just like flipping it and I squish. 
the shit down. Unnecessary, but I do that just because it stays off my neck and my neck's already died to shit. I'm here to wash my gorge again. Literally just dead. I just make sure I don't get any on the counter, which I think I'm Gucci. Okay, I'm gonna take the gloves off now. And I'm gonna take this little Neutrogena makeup wipe. I mean, not everybody does this, but I'm fucking weird, so I don't want to have chemicals in my face while I wear this mask and I can get it off my ears too. So I'm just gonna wipe it off my skin because it's not completely stained my face yet. And I'm gonna wipe off. And then my hair, when it's done and it's washed, I don't have weird stains on my face. Neck. I'm just like extra like that. Most people that I see videos of, they're like, mm, I don't fucking care if I get it all over my hands and ears and neck. And I'm just like, wear gloves. But I mean, this is a pandemic and people are running out of gloves. If you get dye on your hands and neck and face, do you, girl. Or boy, I'm not judging. You can dye your hair if you're a male. I don't care. You boys. I'm not quirky at all. This is stupid. I see that every every fucking meme. Every video they just use that meme. Bitch, what the fuck? Unnecessary because it's already dying. <laughs> like you can't go back and fix it now. It's too late. Okay, now I'm just gonna clean my stuff while I'm here, and then I'm gonna put on my face mask. looking at me and they're like, this bitch is so overweight, look how fat she is. I actually lost eight pounds. I will tell you how I did that and how I will continue to lose weight. I've actually been doing shit about it. Hooray! This is just like a shitty angle and there's like nothing you can do about it because I don't have a kickstand. I don't have a good spot. I'm going to use um, there we go. I'm just going to clean up this bottle because it's like covered in goo. Okay. So you don't want this to get dried out. So here in a second, I'm gonna put a plastic bag on my head. I just wanted to get this stuff cleaned off and put it away because I don't live alone and I don't want to be rude and leave a mess. Because I'm an adult. I'm just gonna throw it away because it's empty. I never use the whole thing. It's crazy. this 
I don't know why I do this. This is not important. I'm like OCD, but I'm not. It's so stupid. Like, oh, I missed a spot on my ear. Or I just made a new one. So this is why I wear a gross t-shirt. Alright, so now I can tell you how I'm going to lose more weight and how I've been losing weight just a little bit at a time. And I'm just going to leave this here because it's the best I got. I mean, okay. And I'm going to put on this face mask. I'm going to finish washing this. This is the best Morse video ever. said this in my last video but I'm trying an intermittent fast kind of thing um I watched a lot of videos on how to do it and like what types of fasting there is and my main goal wasn't to lose weight it was to get control of my binge eating. So, ugh. so what my plan was, I'll do intermittent fasting because I heard a lot about how when people do it, they like don't even feel hungry anymore after the third day of fasting like all that was like the main thing I've heard is that people are less hungry after the third day they've fasted so I couldn't even fast for the first fucking day so then I learned about intermittent fasting and I feel like that was more my style because I obviously can't go even one day without eating unless I have like something stopping me from eating like I have to do something or maybe very very invested in something like artwork or something so and I work a lot but I work with old people I don't know if people know this about old people but they have like they have like social situations that you kind of had to just go with because it's just how they were how they grew up what they're used to and you want them to be comfortable <laughs> you want them to be comfortable and you're there to make sure they're comfortable safe clean and all that good jazz so You go with their social stuff. You do what they want. And most of the social things that they want you to do is eat with them. They will feel really weird if you're making them food. And 
And this is like you're working in their home. In a facility, it's a little different because it's more kind of like you're taking care of them and it's a hospital environment. But at home, they feel like you're just either, either they think you're their maid, which I'm not, or they think of you as a friend or a companion who does nurse stuff. Because that's Dementia World. Dementia World is nothing makes sense. So you just gotta go with it. <laughs> Let me make my pretty curtain. Okay, so. So, my intermittent fasting went like this. I would be forced to eat when I was trying to not eat. So, I, I decided to do, I saw this girl who did, um, she was like a surgeon, and she did a 30 day intermittent fast. She did like one meal a day for 30 days. And so that's what I've been doing. I eat with my clients and that's it. If I have, but lately I've been having night shifts, so it's been easier. I can eat at home. I eat at like two or three o'clock and I sleep a lot because um, <laughs> I work from 9 p.m. to 1 a.m. So I sleep a lot and then I, I've actually been a lot more active though. I, I get up at like one or two and I try, I'll, I'll maybe, I'll drink a lot of water water as soon as I wake up and sometimes I wake up at like 10 but most of the time I, I wake up at like 1 p.m. so itchy this is the good stuff if you're itchy and actually I had a pick where did my pick go there we go okay so I drink water. I drink a whole, like, I have this tall cup thing. It's like a tumbler, but it's not a tumbler. I, I want a tumbler because they're huge and you can drink more water. But I drink from my not tumbler tumbler. And then I wait till three. And then I eat whatever my my boyfriend's dad made whatever meal he's prepared so most times like potatoes eggs eggs potatoes and it's like a meat and and then i might eat like a banana or whatever i i try to eat until i'm full and i've actually gotten very good at it um, i don't eat after i'm full used to like I'd have a whole plate and I would finish the whole plate now I can't even finish the whole plate so I've been eating that and if I eat fast food I try to eat like less than what I would so if I go to McDonald's I usually would order like a spicy McChicken and a large fry and sweet sweet tea or two spicy meat chickens if I'm like starving and that's a lot of food so I I would eat all of that and I would feel like shit and now it's like I'll just get a spicy meat chicken and sweet tea I won't get the fries and I mean that's still like a lot of food but or a lot of calories but it's less food than what I was eating so I try to cut it in half and I drink a lot of water throughout the day. I should, I honestly should be drinking more though. Okay, well, I'm, I think this video is long enough. So, oh, here, one more update. I'm gauging my ears. So far they're at eight gauge. However you say it. I don't know all the terms but I know it's like eight so I'm gonna head out 
I'll make another video as soon as this is done and I'll do like a cute. Here's my hair. It's done. <laughs>